to share something with y'all. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife for saying completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session. This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm here at the Bermondsey Gym. It's the start of a fight week from London up to Telford by the end of the week. Waleed Sharks, how are we doing? I'm doing good. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing very well. Back out on these Misfits card. You've just had a replacement of opponents. It's now Ace Musa. First of all, can you just explain the process of your original opponent pulling out and Ace Musa coming in? Uh, Dean, I mean, what I said, Dean, uh, NNA pushed it down last minute. I kind of expect, uh, expected it. I called it out that he's not going to pull through the fight. And uh, if he did, it was going to end in 30 seconds. But they found a better replacement last minute. Uh, I gave him props for taking the fight last minute. Like I said, nobody would do that. You know what I'm saying? He, he has experience. He has 15 fights, so he's, I'm fighting some uh, better opponent. So it's a better fight for you guys to enjoy. It might last a little bit longer than the last one. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think Ace has had some amateur pedigree and then I think he's had one crossover fight to date. But you've just seen him on the pads there. What did you make of him? Uh, he's amateur. Novice still they, has a lot to work on. Uh, I'm still better. I think I got better. He said he's better than me in every aspect. Uh, I think he's just saying that. I'm better. I had a better long training camp. I'm in shape. I don't think he can go like a full round. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Head, pass don't head back. Everybody can look good on pads. Obviously, we know a former foe of you, yourself, Dean, is here. He's fighting on the card. Is there going to be a bit of bad blood? Will there be a little bit of back and forth between you throughout the week? I think so. You see, you know, we've been going back at it, back and forth on Twitter. Uh, I don't think he wants no problems. He's scared of me. He knows what's going to happen if he gets close or tries to fuck with me or fuck with my family. So he better, he better knows not to fuck with me. If he does, uh, shit might not end up good for his fight. You know, he might not make it for the fight. Wow, well, okay, that's uh, some strong stuff there. Would you say it's personal between you and Dean now? 100%, 100%. It's personal the second he brought my family into it. Uh, like I said, you can talk about shit about me all you want. I don't, I, I don't give a fuck. I don't know that that shit affect me. You talk about my family, I take it personal. It's a whole thing, it's a whole different ball game. Like, I want to end you, I want to kill you. Not, I'm the last person you'll see the second you talk about my family. Why do you believe he's brought your family into it now? He, he just tries to get in my head. He, he has nothing else to say. He just wants to play little games, but little does he know that it just makes it worse on him. It makes me want to take the training camp even harder. Like, I'm going 110, I'm going to go 200. Uh, it's not going to end well for him when I fight him again. Is that rematch going to happen? 100%. When do you think we can get over the line? I, 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 nah, I can't say. Maybe this year, maybe next. Okay, I just want to get your thoughts on a fight that took place on Sunday. I was there in Saudi Arabia. In your weight division, it ended up being Evil Hero versus Adam Salah. I know you've fought Adam before and obviously Evil's fought Dean the Great. Did you watch the fight and what did you make of it? I did not watch the fight, but I heard uh, Evil Hero called me awesome shit saying I'm not ready. If he can't beat Adam, he, he's nowhere near my level. You know what I'm saying? If Adam can stop him, I'll kill him. Uh, I fucked up Adam and I wasn't even in shape. Uh, Adam don't want to rematch with me. He's talking. He just talks shit. He wants Dean. He knows Dean will probably fuck him up too. Like I said, I'll fight Dean and Adam Salah in the same night. It don't matter to me. Uh, Adam Salah, you're a fucking bum. Don't try to fucking talk shit about me. Don't fucking put my name in your mouth if you don't do shit about it, if you won't fight me. If you want that rematch, you know where I'm at. Hit my line. And what did you make of the main event between Jake Paul and Tommy Fury? That, was, that, was, that was a very good fight. That was a good fight. Uh, I think Tommy could have done better. Uh, I seen a side of uh, Jake Paul that I never seen. He was he was actually getting beat, and he was he was he was persistent. You know what I'm saying? I think he could have came in a better shape. I think he got gassed out a little bit. He was pushing it towards the end. I think if he started out how he started the end, he would have maybe won the fight. We never seen Tommy getting dropped before. I don't think so. We seen like a YouTuber dropping an actual box, which is uh, crazy. It just shows. Hard work and dedication, you can literally do whatever you want, you know what I mean? So, uh, props to Jake, congratulations to Tommy, but uh, it was a good fight. Obviously that fight and what Jake has done is kind of the pinnacle of your space really. Do you aspire to be at that level and to be a headline an event of that magnitude? 100%, that's, that's, that's my dream, you know. Uh, 
my fight, my, my first fight was that main event. So like a dream coming true, and now I'm fighting a sold out event, which is another dream coming true. And it's just more progress from here. You know, it's only gonna get better, and I, I can't wait for the future. You know, it's gonna be, it's gonna be big things coming soon. Finally, what happens when you step in the ring on Saturday night with Ace Musa? You guys gotta have to watch to see. <laughs> on the fence there. Thank you very much, Welly. Best of luck on Saturday night, and hopefully speak to you again soon. Thank you, sir. Peace out. I'm going to share something with you that might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session.